Welcome to Motivate Results. So I want to show you guys my max effort pull workout. Now this is somewhat similar to the one you saw before except some of the exercises have changed once again because this is a max effort workout. This is going to be a lot heavier weight, potentially a lot less reps in some in some cases because of fatigue or just because of the program dictates it. Uh, what else am I going to describe about the workout? That's about it. So let's check it out. So starting out with lat pull downs, doing the uh, chin up grip because I feel like it allows me to really feel the lats. Although I don't feel my back is a weak point uh, in comparable to um, strength and or muscle size. I don't feel it's my strong side, if that makes sense. So for the most part, it's good, but it's not super strong. That was my first set, I believe, by the way. This is my third, so you might see some failure here. Sometimes I trade to failure just because I miss that training style. I used to always train to failure. And I think there's a certain level of like, I don't know what it is, but there's something fun about that. Um, as you can tell, it's kind of wearing, wearing the hoodie again. Just kind of trying to stay warm as it, stay, as it gets a little colder now in the mornings. The butt crack of dawn. So instead of, on a normal pole day, you usually notice that I go with, um, what is it? Straight bar serratus poles or whatever the hell they're called. Instead, I decided for this time around to try the dumbbell equivalent. And so, if you haven't seen this before, try it out. The real trick to this is making sure that it's not about tricep or shoulder engagement. It's about on that, on that piece, on that portion where you're putting the, head, the weight over your chest. You have to try to make sure you pull in with your elbows, which you want to do with most of your pull workouts anyways. And make sure you contract the serratus and contract the lat muscle. If you look real hard, I'm wearing the new uh, New Balance shoes that I posted on Instagram a while ago. If you're not following me, why not? Check it out. No, nothing. Uh, I can't even freaking talk again. Won't hurt to check it out. If you're new to this exercise, do what I just did as far as setup. Put, move, set yourself up, move the weight onto your chest, then bring it over your head instead of trying to tweak your shoulders into moving it from the bench over your chest. If you look real hard, I got a nice little thrust in these little uh, movements for some reason. Hip thrust, I guess it helps me move the weight. Uh, yeah, that's right, ladies. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Alright, so I did three sets of this. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned before, I did three sets of the lat pull downs. I did three sets of those. I, uh, I wanted to try this. This is something I just came across recently. It's using that same straight bar to do um, to do this movement, which I usually use the close grip attachment. This one, I will tell you right now, is a whole new world. If you haven't tried this, try this. This is actually gave this actually made me sore the next day, which usually I'm not always sore from this movement. Um, you know, for back, I feel like sometimes it really is about the attachments. It really is about uh, where you're pulling from and where you're pulling to. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing um, the cutoff shirt. Yeah, pull it. But if you notice, I mean, it, it, it's it's. I don't mean, I don't know how to describe it. It's actually my new favorite attachment. I'm gonna be doing this for sure on all max effort and maybe even on hyper hypertrophy. And if you're worrying, if you're wondering, hey Jonathan, what's going on with that sexy shirt you got on? Never seen that before. Yeah, those are my shirts. Look at that. Look, 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 look. Oh, shit. The logo's on the back and the front. Well, it says motivated results on the back and then um, it has a logo on the front. Then I always move down to this. I could always do the equivalent of um, the dumbbell version, but this gym's dumbbells only go to 75 pounds. Now, that's not enough. The only way I'm going to get really good stimulation out of 75 pounders is that if I'm doing either drop sets or supersets or if I'm really going super slow tempo. You'll also notice that by now I'm using straps. My forearms are probably pretty toasted here so I want to make sure that I really focus on that on that contraction on the very furthest back piece. I'll tell you where. Like, where, hold on, hold on. Right there. That's why I kind of hold it for a second then bring it down. Looking pretty lean still. Check that out. Uh, I really wish I could get better angles for you guys. But if you could tell there's nothing around me. 
and this is a really wide angle lens. It looks like I'm like about a mile away, but I'm actually like six feet away maybe. And it's really hard to attach things to other machines because if people were to, you know, use them, I don't want them to feel awkward about it. Uh, I switched doing regular curls, concentration curls, and moved over to straight bar curls. Um, lower weight, not lower weight. Basically, this is a, a warm up, and then I'm moving to a heavier weight, just basically trying to burn out the biceps at this point. You know, most pulling movements, if not all, really use your biceps. So I think there's a nipple shot there. What the hell? Oh, there it is. So, at the end of the day, make back. Uh, I get distracted with the nipple shot. Make sure you know how to cut your tees, people. The thing is that when you cut them, they do roll post post wash. So, whatevs. Uh, I burnt gave out there. So my biceps are pretty much gone at this point. It's just about burning them out. I really want to make sure that I get as much stimulation. Stimulation. What the freak is am I talking about? I need caffeine. As much stimulation as possible. So I believe, I didn't want to make this video longer, so I decided to just add one set of this. I did three sets of these, uh, two sets of the bicep curls, three sets of the single arm pulls. Um, these, as you may know from the previous video, are kind of like a three-in-one. You do one hand hammer, one hand hammer, the other hand hammer, and then you do both at the same time. You count that as one rep. Usually go about a five to seven on these, um, just to kind of burn everything out, make sure I get that, you know, the outer part of the bicep. I feel like that's kind of the weak point that makes my arms look so much smaller. Um, but I also don't have great arm genetics. I think I, I have better, um, you know, central genetics, where it's like the pecs, the core, the back. I have a thicker center versus having like thicker limbs. I run out of time to do shrugs. So usually I would go heavy shrugs. So uh, before or after this exercise. But it, what I ended up doing is just trying to cram these in just for the rear delts uh, and really just shoulder health. So these are face pulls. You can play around with the, the height. But I did three of these, and that's about it. So post comments, questions below. Thanks again for watching, guys. I appreciate all the love I've gotten recently, all the interactions. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.